Some might say that I have a grocery store in my house. I have collected a large amount of prepper foods. In the event that something does happen, I have a long-term emergency food storage to pick from. However, over the last nine years, I have ignored the organization of it. As you saw, clearly I'm not the most organized or cleanest person when it comes to my Monica closet. She said what? So every time I would go into said storage room to get out some food to use, to figure out what was expired or not, it was kind of a disaster. So the fact that my furnace blew up. Nobody lives forever. Okay, that's an exaggeration. It didn't blow up, it just quit working. The fact that my furnace decided to give up working after 19 years, requiring us to purchase a brand new furnace for a redonkulous price forced me to go through every single thing in my in-home grocery store, organize it, move it around, clean the entire room in the first place, and today I'm going to bring you along with me on that journey. So let's get crack a If you love watching big, huge messes turn into beautiful organized spaces, hook this video up with one of these and let's go. Okay, kicking off the cleaning process began with this huge shelf and this carpet because when they ripped out the old furnace and installed the new furnace, I had to move an entire shelf of products onto the floor so I could move the shelf out of the way so the workers could access the area. Something that we learned in the process is this storage room had this old, gross, nasty carpet. You wanna take the obvious garbage out first. And to me, the obvious garbage was this nasty, disgusting carpet that I'm pretty sure had been there since the house was built. So it's like 20 years old and it was time to kick that carpet to the curb. Now listen, when I spend a very, very long time working on a project like this one, trying to do dinner for my family of six can get sketch unless I have a meal box kit like HelloFresh. So huge, huge thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and helping pay for a portion of this wildly expensive new furnace. I personally have been using HelloFresh for like three or four years. And so I am absolutely thrilled to be able to give you guys a coupon code with them, you will love this meal box kit. The meals are delicioso. HelloFresh now has like 40 recipes every week to pick from, 40, so you cannot go wrong. Like you won't get bored, it just won't happen. And honestly, I truly think that you can save money by using a meal box kit, especially with a code like mine. It's cheaper than getting takeout, which is something that's really tempting to do when you're exhausted from working, you don't have time to hit at the grocery store, you don't want the lines, you forgot to do like your grocery pickup. I know you wanna know about the code, all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use my code FFM65. They're gonna give you 65% off of your order plus free shipping. It is the first link down in the doobly-doo below. Listen, these tacos I made were such a huge hit with everyone. I feel like I need to go back on HelloFresh, find those tacos and order them again. Every time they're offered, I need to order those tacos. Amazeballs. Okay, one more time, it's hellofresh.com. Use my code FFM65. Five. It'll give you 65% off your order plus free shipping. First link in the bloop. I promise you guys will be obsessed with HelloFresh. If you have not tried them before, don't sleep on this deal. You will not regret it. And let's get back to more um, organizing, long-term food storage organization and decluttering, and hopefully a very satisfying finished product. <laughs> It was harder than I originally thought. I had to get box cutters. I had to yank everything. I couldn't pull it out from under the huge chest freezer. It was like, it was all too heavy. I couldn't do it. So I did need some assistance later. And then I knew I was gonna have to move other stuff out of the way because everything was piled onto the floor. So the hallway outside of this room became my stacking area of of the excess. I couldn't even see what I had because there was just piles of things. Started sorting a trash bag, a donate box, and a combine and reorganize area. As I was working through this process, it was so overwhelming at the beginning that I was trying to make easy choices, like take all the toilet paper and take all of the paper towels and put them up high. It's not something I need to access very often and they're light. If they fall off, they're not gonna hurt anybody. As you'll see later, that was probably the wrong 
decision. Because this room was so chaotic, especially after dumping the entire shelf worth of stuff onto the floor, um, what I should have done, create, I'm gonna say more piles, even though that's not my favorite way to do it, because what we ended up doing was reorganizing the entire system from top to bottom. Like the system that a lot of you have told me is not really a system because I didn't have all my canned products together. I didn't have all my household products together. I didn't start with that in mind, but I should have. So if you're starting an enormous project like this, considering specific areas that places are going to go from the beginning will make it take less time than this project took me. And I just wanna say, hallelujah, we got all of the carpet out. It was so disgusting. It was like disintegrating into crumbly bits that went up into the air. It was so gross. Let's jump into the food specific content. What you are all here for, the in-home grocery store, the prepper, food pantry, the prepper pantry. What do you call it? Emergency long-term food storage. Whatever it is that you wanna say, I ended up with all of this food over the course of nine years of shopping sales, of thinking long-term, uh, focusing on what I could buy, what I could preserve, and how it would serve my family. The next thing I was doing is going through all of the food. I am checking expiration dates. I am checking canned goods, has the pop topped, makes it unsafe for your family, I'm tossing those. Do I have any bugs in anything? Um, do I have things that require leavening products like baking soda, baking powder? If those get really old, they kind of don't really work as much anymore. Do they have nuts in them? Because if they do, they're going rancid. So I am definitely eliminating quite a bit of products at this stage of the organizing because I finally was able to get through the floor and approach the shelves that had the food on them. I actually had several days of methodically going through everything, tossing the things that weren't good anymore. And then when I had a lot of packages and I could combine them, I really tried to focus on that as well. Okay, so I have seven of these rice packages. This is five pounds and I found them for two, 59 each at the discount store many, many months ago. So I'm going to reuse these animal cracker bins and hopefully put all of my rice into, I think two of them. And I also have this paper to make a nicer label so they're easier to see what they are. So I did wash these out yesterday. They dried overnight, so there should be no dampness in here at all. So let's, let's pour all this rice in here and see how many I'm gonna need to use or like how many pounds can fit into uh, one container. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I even started moving all of my tomato products onto one shelf, all of my peanut butters like out of cases of cardboard. I just wanted to eliminate all of the excess garbage that I had and that meant taking everything out of the packages and setting them on a shelf nicely. Another thing I wanted to do was reallocate some of the things I had in my storage room to places where they would be better served. Now I have already decluttered a large amount of my home canning jars as I'm moving strictly to wide mouth jars instead of regular mouth jars. All of these jars you see me pulling out of the bottom of these shelves, I haven't used these jars in two plus years. But you know who does have a special canning food processing area at her house? My mother pulled all of this home canning equipment and took it all to my mom's house to be stored in that room, which is where it makes sense to be. That's where I'll use it. Uh, I've noticed I have over canned in the past. It's not something we gravitate towards probably as much as we should. I really should utilize 
home canned products more than the frozen ones, but for some reason I always move towards the frozen ones. I don't know why that is. Maybe that'll be one of my goals in 2023. Can more and then use those canned products. So I was able to eliminate five full bins of jars that one day out of my house to my mom's food processing room. And then a few days later, I found a whole nother can of jars. So a total of six cans of jars that I was able to eliminate from me storing in my food storage area. Oh, <laughs> it never fails when you are decluttering a room that you try to avoid most of the time that you find really old stuff kind of some sentimental stuff and definitely things that don't belong with the food. I found these four storage bins with totally random things like medals from high school swimming. I found uh, my high school band jacket. I don't know why that's in there. I don't even remember the last time I saw that. A quilt I made with my grandmother when I was 12. A bunch of clothes that don't fit. A bunch of clothes I don't like. Shoes that I haven't worn in five years. So I was able to essentially eliminate, like declutter and eliminate everything in those bins except for a few sentimental items and the bins themselves. Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Okay, now that the jars are gone, I think we can take a load of donations to the car So I'm work on putting that together right now just to get things out of the house. <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and donate these bins. Um, a common misconception is if you have enough bins, you'll be organized. And what I've found is for me, they just encourage more stuff to keep because I have bins to put them in. So most of these are clothes and shoes, so I'll just put these in the bag and we'll just put all these in my car. I don't even know why I have these. Like these have, I think they're sheets, but they've been down in these bins for a year and I've never gotten them out, which means I don't need them. Okay, it has been a minute since I have been in this room. <laughs> I went out of town and when I came back, Dave had taken all the old grimy carpet off of the floor and swept. So yay for husbands doing awesome chores while you're gone. So I have a little bit of a dilemma because this uh, shelf doesn't fit over here anymore because of the new furnace. Like I can't access the, you know what I'm saying? The air thing, the filter, you know, the filter. So I have this shelf over here that's uh, narrower this way. So we're gonna flip flop these shelves, but that means I have to empty this shelf off, which I am not very excited about, but I think the process will help me um, put like, like items with like items a little bit better. And it'll force me to kind of go through what's over here so it makes more sense like a little bit more organizational sense so step one is probably to just empty this entire shelf let's do that right now and then i'll try and like move this one out of the way and do a switcheroony i'm gonna take these food items upstairs So we've been doing Waffle Wednesday at our house where all of our kids' friends come over and I make waffles for everybody and we've been using like throwaway paper plates and napkins. So I will reallocate these upstairs so we can use them up. And I am definitely at the stage of my life where I don't keep 
$1 gift bags anymore. Um, if I need one, I'll run to Dollar Tree and get a $1 gift bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and recycle these. I don't wanna hang on to these or store them anymore. It's a good place to be. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. On some level, you're probably wondering why I'm bothering to keep this bookshelf. Oh, that's a weird angle to squat. <laughs> My grandfather made this bookshelf. Um, he made it for my mom when she went away to college and I ended up with it and I will never get rid of it. <laughs> so it's just gonna stay in here and I'm gonna utilize it the best that I can instead of purchasing something new just cause it reminds me of my grandpa. So next step, try and move it over there and uh, dust it off, it's pretty dusty. <laughs> How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. get any closer than that to the water heaters because there's a like a drain in the floor that sticks up and I'm kind of hitting it but that's probably okay it probably doesn't need to be closer than that anyway but for the first time I have like another spot right here which I kind of like because I've really been wanting to utilize this storage room for luggage like when we're not using it right now it's kind of mixed with our Christmas Christmas decorations of which we don't have that many but still I don't love the way it is now now this black shelf we got from Target for $30 like 15 years ago so it's not as industrial as the silver ones that we have which really can hold a lot but as I think about what to store on this black shelf I have to take into consideration what everything weighs I'm not gonna be able to put canned goods um, all over this black shelf just because it's not strong enough but it would hold toilet paper it probably would hold empty luggage really well it will hold excess blankets I think that would be a great choice here's the real issue let me ask you this this is my wedding dress I only have one daughter I doubt she'll want to wear it and it won't probably fit her anyway because she's quite lean I'm a little more curvy than her she's more up and down I thought about like making like a baby dress or something or selling it, but nobody wanted it. <laughs> Do you think it still fits? Like it's not, it doesn't look yellow or anything. Like it looks, like it looks pretty good. What do you think? The buttons on the back still look nice. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what to do with this one. I had, I had suction cupped it, suction cupped. <laughs> I had vacuum sealed it in a smaller guy, but I don't know why it ended up out of that. I could vacuum seal it again, but I got married 20 years ago. What do you do with your wedding dress? Tell me what you do with your wedding dress because I have no idea what to do with this. Christine needs some assistance. I'm gonna put it in the pile labeled things for future Christine to worry about. By the way, that's not how you should declutter and organize. I'm kind of making a joke, but not really. But I am, but not really. <laughs> okay, what the heck do we put on this guy? Blankets, luggage, toilet paper. I like the toilet paper idea. Let's do that to kick it off with because I think I can use the vertical space pretty well. As we look at all of this toilet paper and paper towels, I don't feel like you should have to justify what you do to anybody. <gasps> 
know there's gonna be questions, so we're gonna talk about it anyway. I usually buy my toilet paper and paper towels in bulk at places like Sam's Club and Costco. Um, they come in ridiculously large packaging, really, really large. The toilet paper, I had purchased like one case a month for several months and then realized I had way too much. We weren't going through it that fast because all my kids and my husband, they all leave every day to go to school and to go to work. It's really just me in the house during the day, except for nights and weekends. So we're not going through it as fast as we did. Okay, as I'm putting all the toilet paper over here, I'm thinking this black shelf is gonna be household products. Cleaning products, um, extra bags, extra trash bags, like Ziploc bags, tissues. I don't think the paper towels will fit. I'm, I have them over on a shelf over here, but we're gonna see as far as household, what we can fit on this, that way, like all the resupply throughout the house. If we need dishwasher tabs or toilet paper, obviously we'll know they're all on this first shelf. So I'm kind of liking that idea. I actually haven't bought toilet paper in quite a while. And something else that I've been learning about myself is I don't use paper towels hardly at all. Uh, we use rags and sponges a lot for cleaning and paper towels only for like super, super gross, super gross messes or broken glass. Like the dog threw up, a glass honey jar broke or something. I haven't bought a case of paper towels in over a year and I still have a large amount of them. From today, <laughs> I will not be buying paper towels or toilet paper or until we're down to essentially one case worth, which as you can tell by these clips is going to be a while. Nobody told me to settle down. Day, night, and day. Look at all this garbage that was sitting in here that I can get rid of. Look at that. You know what I got in here? You know. You know what it is. It's the box of cords. It's the box of cords. I have boxes within a box. I'll put that flea in a box, and then I'll put that box inside of another box. Nights don't get around, but there's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. Notice that this wooden <laughs> shelf is back where it started. We had a situation, hold. <sighs> when I put it here, I, I could not access the, you know, what are, whatever these are. What are these? Air filter guys. Like these are really, really big and it was hitting um, the wooden shelf over here. So Dave had the idea to put it back just right next to the black one on the other side. And I have a few of these bins. This black one is for rock climbing gear. And then the clearer one is for like clothing that my oldest son grew out of, but my younger son's not big enough, that kind of thing. My mom has a bunch more of these at her house that are the exact same size. And I can access the filter thing right here. So I think I'm gonna go get a few more and create labels for these, but we'll do that a little bit later. But anyway, we have moved the black shelf and the wooden shelf next to each other. So these are gonna be the household section of the room. We were kind of working on this yesterday and then I was like not liking things just on the shelves all willy nilly and I wanted containers. So let's talk about that. Okay, I have a few containers we're gonna try out today. So I have all of these white bins from Dollar Tree. So they were very inexpensive. And then I have this larger bin that I love to buy from Walmart and I have a bunch of these as well. So we're gonna see which one is kind of working better for the space because I have things like deodorant and here's some extra deodorant and body wash. And I'm, I just don't wanna like out like, like that falling on the shelves. So I thought that these white bins from Dollar Tree would work better like this would be the deodorant bin right and it would fit nicely on this shelf so i could keep like all the deodorant together the body wash together and that sort of thing this is going to be a trial and error and just see what works and what doesn't like on some level i just want to take these out of the boxes even though they store nicely in the boxes they take up less room out of the boxes yeah, I do. I think I do like these out of the boxes. I feel like the larger Walmart containers could work on the bottom and then these smaller ones can work up here pretty well. I got seven of these white ones, so we should be able to make all of these work. Like I have this huge box and this tiny little spray. It feels like a waste to me. 
Oh my gosh, is this a coupon? Stop. This is not either. <gasps> it's expired. Dang it. I thought I had gotten all the freebie item. Well, listen. Clearly, I don't need any more Axe products, okay? That's just... That's just the truth. So this freebie coupon... It's fine. It's fine that it's expired. Expired. I'm just gonna keep moving on organizing these items. Let's see how we end up. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie. Look what I found, an Adidas coupon that's not expired. Good in March of 2023, but check it out. I am all done with these. I have deodorants, body sprays. These are like colognes, shampoos right here, men's shampoo. These two are like men's body wash. I actually have some empty spaces. This is like the girls shampoo and conditioner body soap. I have some Bath and Body Works soaps in this large container right here and some dishwashing detergent at the bottom with this big empty space that I'm sure I will fill with something. But what you should really see <laughs> is the pile of recycling I have right here that I just emptied out by putting everything in these white bins. So I like these because I can clearly see what I have and what I don't have. And I do have some little chalkboard clips for labeling that I will go grab in a second. So I'm gonna get rid of this recycling right here and try and put all the food items together and the non-food items on a separate shelf on the other side of the room. And I think we're gonna be very close to done. The obvious, nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too hot and almost left town. But there's some I had known that it would end up looking like this. I would have listened to you guys years ago. <laughs> I feel like you've been telling me for years and years to put all of the food together instead of like scattered throughout this storage room. And it has been a beast of a project. I'm so happy right now. I can't even believe it. I got rid of some expired food. The ones that really do expire, like things that go rancid. I found a few cans that had popped, so I tossed those. I had some baking mixes that were like, I tried to bake one and it was like kind of tasted a little rancid. Some of the nuts had to go. So I know what I have. I know what I have is like in date and good. And I can see everything. Let's take a tour. From way back here, this is all the food on these two shelves. And as you can see, I definitely have some empty shelves in here. This section over here is my like long-term storage for other things so I can still access the air filters on the furnace. Look at this, this is all food, these two shelves. My long, long-term storage is up here. If you remember the rolled oats, give this video a thumbs up. In the comments, tell me what year it was that I I bought that. <laughs> I should really open it soon. Over here on this one, I have, this is my pasta shelf. Down here, I have like baking and spices and things like that. This is the dried beans. I have nothing here. This corner is all my long-term storage wheat. Across the top, I also have like bulk, bulk products like oil, honey, my Costco tortilla chips, brown sugar. This is all tomato products. 
This is all canned goods. I tried to put most of my canned goods on this shelf. So this one in the middle is like my peanut butter, syrups, ketchups, salt, yeast, like all bulk items that I get. More canned goods down here, along with salsas and homemade pickles and a whole empty shelf on the bottom. So as you can see, when you have this combined with this freezer, there is a lot of food in the house, not even counting everything that I have upstairs. So if you've ever seen my budget, like 150 to $200 a month grocery shopping hauls, this is why, because I pull from these items, like a lot of these canned goods down here, I stocked up on these in early of 2022. They're still sitting here, so I'm gonna make a concentrated effort to eat these down and then restock them here in 2023. Moving over here, this shelf is all I'd say household and kitchen less used items. So I have a lot of baking, like baking stuff, but I don't make cakes every day. So they just kind of sit here. I don't use my roasting pan all the time, so it stays here. Some serving dishes, cookie cutters. I have two Instant Pots, so I brought one down here. A bunch of sections, like this whole top section, this half of this bottom shelf is all stuff to give to my kids when they move out and go to college. So I'm just kind of hanging on to those for now. I am absolutely thrilled with how this turned out. And now I really can see everything that I have. It's going to make emergency long-term food storage shopping easier. It's gonna make cooking dinner easier. On this side of the room, obviously we have all of our water heaters, water softener, and a little carpet shampooer that stays down here. This is the household section. I'd say we have plenty of paper towels and toilet paper. I am really happy with how all of these personal care items ended up sitting in these Dollar Tree bins. I like the white. I feel like they look real nice. Um, I have a couple more down here, a few of my cleaning products, some vinegar. I have the Bath & Body Works hand soaps. These are the best the best, like the foaming ones. And then my dish soap over here, I ended up putting tissues, which we also don't use very often, gloves, trash bags, all of our Ziploc bags, a couple of kitchen items we don't use all the time, but that I do use. Really, really large mixing bowls, freezer pan meals. This is empty and my wheat grinder. So coming in from the door, I have these three shelves. I picked these up at Sam's Club like 15 or more years ago. This is the very large chest freezer that we do need to go into next. Our brand new furnace that cost us so much money. I'm really glad we had a sponsor today because holy crap, this put a huge dent in the budget. Huge, enormous, massive. <laughs> oh, wow, sweetie. Holy crap. There's so much less on the floor. There's nothing on the floor. <laughs> it, that's like, I'm a little in shock that you were able to get everything off the floor. Did you notice there's empty shelves? There's a lot of empty shelves. And I'm trying to figure out how you did that. So I, d I did get rid of some food that was like too old. Did you? Yes. I did what you said. Did you, you did. step back and, and take a gander? I know, I, I'm, I'm admiring it because I'm impressed that did you remember what you wanted me to do? It's almost like we have way less canned goods than I thought. We have less food than you thought. Most of our storage was not food. So why did it look like we had so much food? Just because it was spread out all over the place? Probably. I'll tell you, it was very annoying to move everything from one shelf to another shelf just so I could have the canned goods together. But now that it's finished, I kind of love it. You were kind of butt when I came when I gave you that suggestion. Because I didn't want to do it. I know you didn't want to do it. <laughs> because it, it took forever. It took hours. This is I call this the household section. Deodorants in one, sprays, aftershaves. Um, that one's actually like cologne things. Cologne things, okay. Body wash. I have a two body washes and a shampoo. Boy, our boys have got more stuff than they know what to do with. I know. And then this is all hand soap. Yep. Wow. Did you, you emptied all the boxes. I sure did. It's so easy for them to just grab and go. I know. So you did a really great job. Thank you. You should be proud. I, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I can't believe how huge this room is. It's really ridiculous. We have pickles. I know a lot of pickles. I know. You know what I love about it is I can actually see what we have. I'm like, why is there no open pickles in the house? Dude, we got lots of pickles. I have tons of ketchup. We don't need ketchup. Oh, by the way, we don't need peanut butter. No, it's shocking. I'm like, we need to go buy more food. No, we do not need to go <laughs> buy more food. I'm just kidding. But it is like, it did look like a crazy amount of food. And now that I'm looking at it, it's not. It's a lot of tomato products. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. 
I don't need, well, there's a whole shelf. The whole shelf is tomato products. I almost don't know what to do with the space. I'm like, we could, we could put some stuff in no, here. No, no, I just cleaned it out. We're not putting anything in I'm here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now all we need is maybe get some drywall to hold this insulation in place. <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. I, I'm very tempted to have somebody help me just throw it up. I don't need to finish the room. I just kind of want to keep. Keep it, keep it up. Keep it up. So good.